Mutual Fund versus Exchange Traded Fund Difference between Mutual Fund and Exchange Traded Fund The main difference between ETFs and Mutual Funds is an EVAS price is based on the market price and is sold only in full shares. Mutual Funds, however, are sold based on dollars, so you can specify any dollar amount you'd like to invest. EVAS also tend to be cheaper than Mutual Funds. Before we start the video, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon for more videos. What is a Mutual Fund? A Mutual Fund is a pool of money managed by a professional fund manager. It is a trust that collects money from a number of investors who share a common investment objective and invests the same in equities, bonds, money market instruments, and other securities. Types of Mutual Funds Mutual fund types can be classified based on various characteristics. Learn more about different mutual fund types below. Number 1. Debt Funds Debt funds invest primarily in fixed income securities such as bonds, securities, and treasury bills. They invest in various fixed income instruments such as fixed maturity plans, guilt funds, liquid funds, short-term plans, long-term bonds, and monthly income plans, among others. Since the investments come with a fixed interest rate and maturity date, it can be a great option for passive investors looking for regular income with minimal risks. Number 2. Income Funds Income funds belong to the family of debt mutual funds that distribute their money in a mix of bonds, certificates of deposits and securities among others. Helmed by skilled fund managers who keep the portfolio in tandem with the rate fluctuations without compromising on the portfolio's creditworthiness, income funds have historically earned investors better returns than deposits. They are best suited for risk-averse investors with a two or three years perspective. Number 3. Tax a Saving Funds Equity-linked savings scheme over the years have climbed up the ranks among all categories of investors. Not only do they offer the benefit of wealth maximization while allowing you to save on taxes, but they also come with the lowest lock-in period of only three years. Investing predominantly in equity, they are known to generate non-tax returns in the range 14 to 16 percent. These funds are best suited for salaried investors with a long-term investment horizon. Number 4. Pension Fundees Putting away a portion of your income in a chosen pension fund to accrue over a long period to secure you and your family's financial future after retiring from regular employment can take care of most contingencies. Relying solely on savings to get through your golden years is not recommended as savings get used up. EPF is an example, but there are many lucrative schemes offered by banks, insurance firms. Number 5. Money Market Funds Investors trade stocks in the stock market. In the same way, investors also invest in the money market, also known as the capital market or cash market. The government runs it in association with banks, financial institutions, and other corporations by issuing money market securities like bonds, T-bills, dated securities, and certificates of deposits, among others. The fund manager invests your money and disperses regular dividends in return. Opting for a short-term plan can lower the risk of investment considerably on such funds. What is an exchange-traded fund? An exchange-traded fund is a type of pooled investment security that operates much like a mutual fund. Typically, an exchange-traded fund will track a particular index, sector, commodity, or other assets. An ETF can be structured to track anything from the price of an individual commodity to a large and diverse collection of securities. Types of ETFs Various types of ETFs are available to investors that can be used for income generation, speculation, and price increases, and to hedge or partly offset risk in an investor's portfolio. Here is a brief description of some of the ETFs available on the market today. Number 1. Bond ETFs Bond ETFs are used to provide regular income to investors. Their income distribution depends on the performance of underlying bonds. They might include government bonds, corporate bonds, and state and local bonds, called municipal bonds. Unlike their underlying instruments, bond ETFs do not have a maturity date. They generally trade at a premium or discount from the actual bond price. Number 2. Stock ETFs Stock ETFs comprise a basket of stocks to track a single industry or sector. For example, a stock ETF might track automotive or foreign stocks. The aim is to provide diversified exposure to a single industry, one that includes high performers and new entrants with potential for growth. Unlike stock mutual funds, stock ETFs have lower fees and do not involve actual ownership of securities. Number 3. Currency ETFs Currency ETFs are pooled investment vehicles that track the performance of currency pairs, consisting of domestic and foreign currencies. Currency ETFs serve multiple purposes. They can be used to speculate on the prices of currencies based on political and economic developments for a country. They are also used to diversify a portfolio or as a hedge against volatility in forex markets by importers and exporters. Some of them are also used to hedge against the threat of inflation. There's even an ETF option for Bitcoin. Number 4. Foreign Currency ETFs 
Foreign Currency ETFs help investors gain exposure to foreign currencies without completing complex transactions. Currency ETFs are seemingly simple investment vehicles that track foreign currency, similar to how a market ETF tracks its underlying index. In some cases, this type of ETF tracks a basket of currencies, giving investors access to multiple foreign currencies. Number 5. Sector ETFs As the name suggests, these ETFs only invest in the stocks or securities of a particular sector. The name of the ETF usually describes the sector or the industry it invests in. By investing in such ETFs, an investor can get exposure to a certain sector rather than buying stocks of individual companies in that sector. For example, the Alps Clean Energy ETF is designed to provide exposure to a diverse set of U.S. and Canadian companies that are involved in the clean energy sector, including renewables and clean technology. Mutual funds and exchange-traded funds are both investments that allow people to pool their money together to gain more buying power. Mutual funds are managed by a fund company, such as BlackRock or Vanguard, and are traditionally more affordable because the company pools the money from many different investors. Exchange-traded funds can be bought and sold on an exchange like a stock, so they're typically less complicated to trade than mutual funds. EDX also have lower ongoing fees because there's no middleman as that fund manager. Mutual funds are better. Exchange-traded funds are not good. Mutual funds are less expensive and offer a more diversified investment portfolio. They also typically have lower fees that don't require an upfront investment. So that's all for today. We hope that you enjoyed the video. Tell us what you think about the video in the comments section below. Also make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get update when we post new videos on comparison.